Apex predators, demons of the void. Human blood drips from their fangs. Captain Robert Williams grips the armrest of his command chair, knuckles white. Play the distress call again. Apex predators attacking O-Stars. Screams fill the bridge. Need immediate assistance. Any ships in range. Help. Explosions. Hissing. Apex predators breaching the hull. We... Thar's call cuts off. Williams takes a breath. Apex predators. The most feared creatures in the galaxy. Sixty-meter beasts with the strength to rip starships apart. Entire fleets avoid their hunting grounds. A Saurian trading vessel wouldn't stand a chance. Williams had never seen a Saurian grovel for help, especially from humans. The Lizard Empire considered humanity an inferior newcomer to the galactic scene, barely worth a sneer from their snake-like snouts. For them to send this distress call, they must truly be desperate. He glances at the faded poster bolted to the bulkhead. It shows Earth shaking hands with a Saurian, under the words peace and prosperity through trade. What a joke! The Saurian Empire blocked humanity at every turn. Anti-human propaganda, trade embargoes. There was even talk of putting humans in their place. The smart move was to ignore the distress call. Let the Saurians get eaten. Take the loss of one trading ship. Teach them a much-needed lesson in humility. But ask him, what if this was a chance to change things? To prove humanity's worth to the galaxy? If Williams could save the Saurians they would owe humanity a debt. That had to be worth something. One of his lieutenant's voices, what they're all thinking. Captain, we're really going to risk our hides for a species that hates us. Williams doesn't answer. Instead, he punches in coordinates changing course. Towards Apex Predator territory. Ooh. Towards the Saurian ship. He straps himself into his chair. Battle stations! This rescue mission will either mark a new era of galactic trade, or the end of the UESC Dauntless. The Dauntless drops out of warp, the twisted wreckage of the Tycath's bounty filling the viewscreen. The once proud Saurian ship lists heavily, gaping holes torn through its hull. Sparks and debris spill from the wounds, glittering against the starry backdrop. Life signs, Captain Williams barks. Weak but there. The science officer reports. Maybe a few dozen survivors scattered throughout the ship. Williams nods. Primus, take a team. Get our scaly friends out of there. Aye, Captain. Commander Primus, a barrel-chested man with a scarred face, heads for the armory. He assembles a dozen of the Dauntless's finest, marines in heavy combat armor, medics with bulging aid kits. They gear up with pulse rifles and plasma grenades, enough firepower to take on a small army or a pack of Apex Predators. The boarding shuttle docks with the Tycath's bounty, magnetic clamps locking on with a clang. Primus leads the way, his boots thudding on the Saurian deck plating. Emergency lights flicker, casting eerie shadows. The air tastes of smoke and blood. A skittering sound echoes from the darkness ahead. Primus holds up a fist, halting the team. He signals for two marines to take point, Rifles at the ready. They advance cautiously, sweeping the corridor. There's a flash of movement, a glint of fangs. The marines open fire, pulse rounds stitching the bulkhead. An apex predator screeches in pain, its carapace cracked. It lunges, claws extended. A plasma grenade detonates, vaporizing the creature in a blaze of blue-white light. More predators emerge from the shadows, hissing and snarling. The marines form a firing line, pouring on the heat. Primus joins in, his rifle bucking against his shoulder. It's a brutal close-quarters fight. The predators are fast, strong, all teeth and talons. But the marines are disciplined, working together with practiced efficiency. Slowly they push the creatures back, leaving twitching corpses in their wake. They find the survivors huddled in a cargo bay, makeshift barricades of crates piled high, Many are wounded, leaking green blood from vicious slashes. The medics rush to help, applying pressure bandages and administering painkillers. Primus approaches a Saurian in a tattered uniform, his scales dull with age. Captain Krath, I'm Commander Primus, UESC Dauntless. We're here to get you out. Krath hisses, baring his fangs. 
Why should I trust you, human? Your kind would love to see us dead. If we wanted you dead, we wouldn't be here, Primus retorts. Captain Williams is offering to tow your ship. Tow us where? So you can strip our cargo, leave us stranded? Primus grits his teeth. This ungrateful bastard, but they have a mission. To the nearest Saurian outpost for repairs. Krath's eyes narrow. He glances at his wounded crew at the marine standing guard. Finally he nods. Very well. But if you betray us... We won't. Primus helps the Saurian to his feet. Let's get you out of here. They return to the Dauntless, the survivors limping aboard. Williams orders the tow cables attached, the Saurian ship secured for transit. But as they prepare to depart... Captain, the sensor operator shouts, massive signature closing fast. It's... it's a Category 5 Apex Predator, sir. Williams curses under his breath. Category 5. The biggest, meanest breed of Apex Predator. Taking on a Cat 4 was risky enough. A Cat 5? But they can't abandon the Saurians, not now. Battle stations, Williams commands, his voice steady. Charge weapons, raise shields, helm keep us between that thing and the Tycath's bounty. Alarm klaxons blare as the crew scrambles to action stations. The dauntless hull thrums with power, engines flaring to life. On the view screen, a vast shape looms out of the darkness, all spines and armoured plates. The apex predator has come to feed, and the USC Dauntless stands in its way. The view screen fills with the monstrous form of the Category 5 apex predator as it barrels towards the Dauntless. The creature's armoured plates glint in the starlight, its maw bristling with jagged fangs. It slams into the frigate's shields with bone-jarring force, sending shudders through the hull. Evasive manoeuvres, Captain Williams shouts, gripping his command chair. Keep our distance. The helmsman complies, thrusters firing to pull the Dauntless away. But the apex predator is relentless, its bulk scraping against the shields. Sparks fly, alarms blaring on the bridge. Weapons, fire at will, Williams orders. Railguns, missiles, everything we've got... The Dauntless unleashes a barrage, projectiles and warheads streaking towards the creature. They impact against its hide in flashes of light and plumes of debris. But when the smoke clears, the apex predator is unscathed, its armour barely scratched. It retaliates with a stream of corrosive acid, spraying from glands in its throat. The caustic liquid splatters against the Dauntless's hull, eating through the outer layers. Warning lights flare on the damage control console, Hull breach on decks four and five, an officer reports. Emergency bulkheads are sealing, but that acid is chewing right through them. Williams curses, mind racing. Their weapons are useless, their defences crumbling. How do you kill something that shrugs off railguns? Bridge to engineering, he calls over the calm. Reeves, tell me you have something. Down in the engine room, Dr. Ethan Reeves hunches over his console, fingers flying across the controls. Schematics of apex predator anatomy flicker on the screens, complex neural pathways highlighted in pulsing red. I might have an idea, Captain, Reeves says, pushing his glasses up his nose. An electromagnetic pulse, tuned to the specific frequency of the creature's nervous system. It should shut down its motor functions, paralyze it. Should? Williams asks. There's just a theory, Reeves admits, and there's a catch, uh, the EMP would need to be delivered directly into the Predator's brain, at point-blank range. Williams digests this, spacewalking onto the back of a rampaging Apex Predator in the middle of a battle. It's suicide. But what choice do they have? Understood, he says. Prep the EMP, I'll deliver it myself. Captain, you can't, Commander Primus objects. The ship needs you here. The ship needs that thing off our backs. Williams counters, and I won't ask any of you to take a risk I'm not willing to take myself. He stands, straightening his uniform. Primus, you have the con. Keep the Dauntless in one piece until I get back. Primus nods reluctantly. I, sir, good hunting. Williams strides off the bridge, heading for the armory. He dons a heavy EVA suit, magnetic boots clamping to the deck. Reeves meets him at the airlock, handing over the EMP device. 
It's a sleek gunmetal cylinder, sized to fit in the palm of a hand. Aim for the base of the skull, Reeves instructs. That's where the primary neural cluster is located. The pulse should radiate through the entire nervous system from there. Got it? Williams slots the EMP into a pouch on his suit. Anything else I should know? Just try not to get eaten, Reeves says with a nervous smile. William snorts. I wasn't planning on it. He steps into the airlock, the hatch sealing behind him with a hiss. As the chamber depressurizes, he takes a steadying breath, psyching himself up for what's to come. But before he can cycle the outer door, a clawed hand falls on his shoulder. William spins, startled, to find Captain Krath standing behind him. The Saurian is also clad in an EVA suit, his features obscured behind a tinted faceplate. What are you doing here? Williams demands. Coming with you, Krath replies, his voice tinny over the suit's calm. You'll need my help out there. I can handle this myself, Williams insists. It's too dangerous. More dangerous than letting a human with no experience fight an apex predator alone? Krath hisses. I've faced these beasts before. I know their weaknesses, how they move. You need me. Williams hesitates, torn. Every instinct screams not to trust the Saurian, but Krath is right. Out there, experience could mean the difference between life and death. You fine, he relents. But you follow my lead, and if things go south, you get back to your ship, understood? Krath nods, his eyes glinting behind the faceplate. Understood, Captain, now let us hunt. Together, the two captains step into the void, mag boots clamping onto the Dauntless's hull. The apex predator looms ahead, its bulk blotting out the stars, its tail lashes, its jaws snap, acid sizzling against the frigate's armour. Williams and Krath exchange a glance, then begin to advance. They move cautiously, picking their way across the pitted and scarred hull, dodging streams of corrosive bile. The creature's hide is slick and uneven, pockmarked with craters and jagged spines. As they draw closer, the apex predator seems to sense their presence. It twists, its massive head swiveling towards them. Its eyes are molten pits of hunger, fixing on the puny figures scrabbling across its back. It lunges, jaws wide. Williams and Krath scatter, magboots disengaging as they leap to either side. The predator's teeth clang together, sparks flying as they scrape the hull, its tail whips around, narrowly missing Williams as he tumbles and rolls. They reorient themselves, Mugboots re-engaging. Krath gestures urgently, pointing towards a gap in the creature's armoured plates near the base of its skull, the neural cluster. Williams nods, unhooking the EMP from his pouch. They advance again, more quickly now, bounding across the predator's back. It bucks and writhes, trying to shake them off, but they hold fast. Fifty metres, twenty, ten. The gap yawns before them, a puckered wound in the beast's hide. Williams raises the EMP, finger tightening on the trigger. The apex predator slams against the dauntless again, the impact throwing him off balance. He stumbles, mag boots losing their grip. The EMP tumbles from his hand, clattering across the hull. Krath lunges, snatching the device before it can slide away. He leaps forward, claws extended, and plunges his arm into the gap. There's a sizzling sound, a flash of blue light. The apex predator convulses, a keening wail erupting from its throat. Its limbs spasm, its tail thrashing wildly. Then it goes limp, drifting in the void, nerveless and paralysed. Williams and Krath cling to its back, panting in the silence. They stare at each other, a newfound respect kindling between human and Saurian. Perhaps there is hope for their kinds, after all. Williams and Krath inch their way across the apex predator's back, mag boots clanking against its armoured hide. The creature writhes beneath them, its muscles rippling as it tries to shake off the tiny intruders. Suddenly it rolls to the side, its massive bulk spinning in a dizzying blur of stars and steel. Williams feels his boots lose their grip, his stomach lurching as he begins to float away. But Krath is faster, his clawed hand shooting out to snag Williams by the arm. 
The Saurian captain hauls him back down, slamming him against the predator's plating. Thanks, Williams gasps, his heart pounding in his ears. Krath grunts in acknowledgement, his eyes already scanning the creature's hide. There, he hisses, pointing with a talon, a weakness in the armor. Williams follows his gaze, spotting a small gap near the base of the predator's skull. It's a narrow fissure, barely wider than his hand, but it seems to lead straight into the beast's head. Of the brain, he realizes, if we can get the EMP in there. We can't fit, Krath points out, and we're running out of time. Williams frowns, his mind racing. Then an idea strikes him. He activates his suit's comm. Reeves, you there? Captain? The engineer's voice crackles in his ear. What's happening out there? We've found a way to deliver the EMP, but we need your help. Can you modify one of the maintenance drones to carry the device? There's a pause, then Reeves replies. I can try, but I'll need to work fast. Do it, Williams orders, and hurry, the Dauntless can't take much more of this. Inside the frigate, Reeves hunches over a workbench, his hands a blur of motion. He strips down a boxy maintenance drone, ripping out its power core and guidance system. In their place, he slots the EMP device, wiring it into the drone's control matrix. It's a hasty, inelegant solution, held together with solder and prayers, but it's the best he can do on short notice. Drone ready, Captain, Reeves reports, but the targeting system is crude. You'll need to guide it in manually. Understood, Williams replies. Launch when ready. Reeves taps a command, and the modified drone zips out of a small airlock. It streaks towards the embattled captains, its thrusters flaring as it dodges the apex predator's snapping jaws. Williams and Krath watch it approach, their breath fogging their faceplates. The drone weaves between the creature's spines, then darts into the gap in its armor, vanishing from sight. It's in, Williams says. Reeves, are you getting telemetry? Affirmative, the engineer replies. I have video feed guiding the drone now. Through the drone's cameras, Reeves navigates the narrow passage inside the predator's skull. Bony protrusions scrape the drone's sides, threatening to crush it. But he presses on, following the pulsing conduit of the creature's spinal cord. Finally, the passage opens into a vast, pulsating chamber. The apex predator's brain looms before the drone, a glistening mass of neural tissue and throbbing blood vessels. Target acquired, Reeves reports. EMP ready. On the creature's back, Williams and Krath exchange a glance. They both know what comes next. This is going to hurt, isn't it? Krath asks. Williams nods grimly. Like hell, but it's the only way. They brace themselves, locking their boots to the predator's hide. Williams takes a deep breath, then gives the order. Reeves, fire! The drone pulses, the EMP bursting from its emitter in a blinding flash of energy. It washes over the apex predator's brain, shorting out synapses and frying neural pathways. The creature convulses, a deafening shriek tearing from its throat. The pulse expands, engulfing Williams and Krath. Their suits crackle with electricity, HUD displays flickering and dying. Pain lances through their bodies, every nerve ending on fire. Then, mercifully, darkness takes them. Her blinding flash erupts from within the apex predator's skull. The EMP pulses through its brain, overloading synapses and frying neural pathways. The creature's limbs spasm one final time, then go limp. It drifts in the void, a lifeless husk. But the pulse doesn't stop there. It washes over Williams and Krath, shorting out their suit's electronics. Displays flicker and die. Thrusters sputter out. They float away from the Predator's corpse, tumbling end over end. Inside his helmet, Williams blinks spots from his eyes. His radio crackles with static, the voices of his crew distant and distorted. Tane, Captain Williams, do you read? He shakes his head to clear it. I read you, Dauntless. The EMP was successful, the Predator is down, but our suits are fried. We need extraction now. Roger that, Captain, we're coming to you. ETA two minutes. Williams turns to Krath, ready to share the good news, but his heart stops at what he sees. 
a jagged shard of metal protrudes from the Saurian suit, piercing through the layers of ceramic and polymer. Wisps of air leak from the puncture, crystallizing into ice in the cold of space. Krath! Williams reaches for him, thrusters flaring to close the distance. Hold on, we'll get you patched up. But Krath waves him off, his movements sluggish. No, Williams, it's too late for me. My suit's integrity is compromised. I'm losing air fast. Don't talk like that. We'll share my oxygen until the Dauntless gets here. Krath shakes his head. There's not enough for both of us, and you know it. You need to survive to get your crew home safe. Williams grabs Krath's arm, trying to pull him close, but the Saurian captain pushes him away with surprising strength. Listen to me, Williams. What you did today, it was brave, stupid, but brave. You risked your life for us, for me, even after everything my people have done to yours. Krath's voice is growing weaker, his breaths coming in short gasps. You've earned the respect of the Saurian Empire today, Captain. You've shown us that maybe... Maybe we were wrong about you humans. Krath, don't... No, let me finish. I was wrong about you, Williams. You're not just some upstart primate. You're a true warrior, a leader. Your kind will do great things in this galaxy. I only wish I could be there to see it. Krath's eyes start to drift closed. He forces them open one last time, locking gazes with Williams. It's been an honor, Captain. May your stars shine bright. With a final push, Krath separates himself from Williams. He floats away, his suit's air supply venting into the void. Williams watches helplessly as the light fades from the Saurian's eyes, as his body goes still in the endless black. By the time the Dauntless arrives, it's too late. They recover Williams, bringing him safely back to the ship. But Krath is gone, his sacrifice forever etched into the annals of history. News of the incident spreads like wildfire through the galaxy. The story of a human captain risking everything to save a Saurian crew, of a Saurian giving his life to save that captain in return. It's a story of bravery, of sacrifice, of two species setting aside their differences for the greater good. The Galactic Trade Council takes notice. They had always seen humanity as a minor player, a newcomer to be tolerated but not respected. But now... Now they see the potential in this young species, the courage and compassion that drives them. In a historic move, the Council offers humanity a seat at the table, a chance to have a say in the fate of the galaxy. The Saurian Empire, in a show of gratitude, is the first to support this proposal. For Williams, it's a bittersweet victory. He accepts the Council's offer on behalf of Earth, knowing that it's an opportunity he can't pass up but the weight of Krath's death hangs heavy on his shoulders. He knows that this is only the beginning, that there will be more challenges to come, more sacrifices to be made. The galaxy is a vast and dangerous place, and peace is a fragile thing. But he also knows that he has a duty to his crew, to his species, to the memory of a fallen Saurian warrior, a duty to keep pushing forward, to keep exploring, to keep fighting for what's right. As the Dauntless prepares for its next mission, Williams stands on the bridge staring out at the stars. He can almost feel Krath's presence beside him, a ghostly hand on his shoulder. I won't let you down, he whispers. I'll make sure your sacrifice wasn't in vain. I'll make you proud. The stars shine back at him, cold and distant. But for a moment, just a moment, Williams swears he can see them twinkle as if in approval. The Dauntless engines rumble to life, and the ship leaps forward into the unknown, into a future that is uncertain but full of hope, a future that a human and a Saurian made possible, together. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.